Halt! What are you doing here? Civilians have no business here. I'm from the Historic Monuments Institute, and I have the necessary permission. Another archaeologist? Weren't you supposed to back off until our people clear the area? Not quite. There's a couple of details left to be checked out. Okay, wait here. I'm going to call my commander. Sir, there's a man demanding entry to the location. No civilians are allowed to enter the site at this point. He says he has permission. Oh, does he? Let's see it then. Well, I'm not delighted. But it seems everything's okay with your papers. You're free to move around the camp, but nowhere else. Especially not the mine. Until that area is explored properly, nobody's going down there. Understood? Yes. You'll find your colleague down that path over there on the bridge. Colleague? He arrived after all the other archaeologists had left. Don't you know about him? Oh, uh, of course. I, I remember now. I'll speak to him. Do what you have to, but don't forget what I said. This isn't looking good. Getting into the mine won't be easy. I'll have a look around and see what I can do. A standard army jeep. Those plans are not intended for civilian eyes. Uh, I barely had a look. Well, you better not have another one. What are those old maps? That's none of your business. Could you spare a minute to answer a few questions? Well, okay, go ahead, but make it quick. We expect the explosive people to arrive tomorrow, and I need to have a working plan by 1700. Sure, I, I don't have much to ask about anyway. You see, my report on what happened here isn't exactly comprehensive. I'll tell you the brief version, and I'll tell it once, so listen carefully. The discovery was made by the workers preparing the construction of a new speedway. The next day, one of them found the first mine. A couple more followed. They called your institute to report about their findings. Your people called us and backed off, so now we're taking over. Tomorrow, an explosive squad will arrive from Kazla. Until then, access to certain areas is restricted. What will that do for you? Yeah, I think so. He wouldn't tell me more anyway. I won't disturb you any longer. Make sure not to forget what I've told you. Nobody is permitted to enter the mine. Of course. Seeing people fly around is the last thing I want. Now leave me to my work. Look, let me get to work. I don't have any time for your questions. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I won't be stalling you any longer. Good, I hope not. Hey, get away from that tent. You've got no business over there. Sure, I I'm sorry. They're edible, but I have no use for them. The water is crystal clear. Lights like this one illuminate the camp during the night. The trees have been cut down by workers clearing the forest. The color is peeling off. Other than that, the trailer looks livable. Greetings, I've just arrived from Prague to take a look at the discovery. You're not uniformed. Who are you? I'm a historian, yes? Uh, my name is uh, Peter. Peter Stasik. Martin Holland. I'm guessing by your accent I'd say you're not Czech, right? Well, 
No, I'm German, but my father is Czech. I had lived in Germany with my mother, but uh, after I finished my studies, I stayed here. Oh, we have something in common, then. What university were you in? Charles University in Prague, but that was a long time ago. I don't want to talk about it. All right, let's turn the page. How long have you been around the camp? Not very long. I arrived this morning. And the others before you? The uh, others? You know, the others from the State Institute of Care of Historic Monuments. Oh, yes, the others. I, I got delayed in the city and came here as the last one. By the time I arrived, everyone had left. Except for those damn soldiers, of course. Strange that you didn't have to leave with the others. Very strange indeed. Why do I have this feeling that he isn't telling me everything? So, why did you stay? What do you mean, Vi? I didn't want the grunts to destroy everything. They don't understand anything. And I want to be around when they enter into mine. I need to get in there too, and as soon as possible. Hmm, let's see. Maybe we could help each other out. So Major won't even hear about entering the mine again. You've already been inside? Yes, I have, but only for an hour or so. The Major came to show me up. No orders, he said, and wouldn't answer any questions. So it appears we're in the same boat. Yes, indeed. Can't possibly leave the discovery to them. They don't even know what they're dealing with. Give me some time. I'll have a look around and see what can be done. Good idea. Come back later. I'm sure we can work something out. Agreed. There's something about him I don't quite like. However, we do share the same goal, and two is more than one. I'll return when I've learned more. Locked. Stacked construction tools and materials. Hold. Who are you and what are you doing here? I just arrived from Prague. Right. I was told so on the radio. I've come to finish something off. Try to do it before the explosives force show up. The Major told me everything already. Where are the mines? Something was in front of the entrance, but there might be more inside. We secured what we could. The rest is up to them. We guard the surroundings before they arrive. There might be something even outside. I certainly hope I'm not going to stumble upon a mine myself. This isn't fun. A lot of ammo from the war is still live. Of course. I'll keep my eyes open. What's inside the mine, anyway? It's you who should know that. Your people were here even before us. Well, yes, but I'm here for the first time myself. Better ask your colleague. I'm just on guard around here. Anything you can tell me saves me time. I was only there when we were installing the lights in the first section, that's all. In the first section? Damn, we're not supposed to talk about it. I said nothing, okay? The Major was looking at some old plans. Is that related somehow? Listen, I have zero incentive to continue to talk about this. Go do your job and let me do mine. Fair enough. Bye. Will you at least let me have a peek into the mine? I'll just take a brief look around and I'll be right back. No way. The order is nobody enters the mine, annoying historians included. Go away, will you? I have official permission to enter the mine. Let me in. You can just forget about that. The permission only covers the surroundings of the mine. How can I do my job if you don't let me inside? I've come only to explore this spot. Were you even listening? Nobody can go inside until the area has been secured. Calm down. I don't want any trouble. Good for you. Now go away.
The Major said something about mines lying around. The place doesn't seem dangerous to me, but do you know something more? Well, it's true. The, the workers found something while uh, digging the mine. Not much, but the Major assumes there's more under the ground. That's why they're here, waiting for the experts. Who actually owns these trailers, anyway? Construction engineers left them here. Likely they couldn't tow them away in time. So the one over there is free as well. It's yours if you need it. I don't think anyone will mind you borrowing it. At least, I didn't ask anybody, and uh, nobody asked me about it either. Good. That old cabin behind the trailer, what's inside it? Oh, the cabin. What are you looking for around there? Nothing really, just asking. Certainly nothing you should be sticking your nose in. Why, what's going on with you? I'm okay, I just... You see, there's nothing in the cabin, so why talk about it? All right then. It's just an old cabin anyway. Exactly. Why would he get this nervous all of a sudden? This Major, what kind of a man is he? I don't know. I only spoke with him a bit when I arrived. He asked a lot more questions than I would have liked. A soldier, you know. Tell me more about the mine. What's inside? Like you already heard, I didn't have much time to explore it. There's a system of hollowed corridors, some of them still supported by beams. Some collapsed. Is that it? Just corridors? Surely the professor wouldn't have sent me here only to have a look at a hole in the ground. There has to be more than just corridors. Well, not quite. There's a steel door at the end, going on even further. Damn, I can't keep my mouth shut. I shouldn't have told you. What? Why? Well, not yet. You'll get to know more when the time is right. Why all these secrets? It seems to me he knows a lot more than he admits. There is nothing to talk about. How's it going? Today's all right. Yesterday was worse. A heavy rain all night. And who do you think was on guard duty, huh? What are you doing here anyway? Nothing special, really. Just taking pictures for the record. Sounds pretty boring, but you better stop talking to me now. The Major might not like it. I have nothing to talk about with him. We have nothing to talk about. I've had a look around, and don't know yet how to get into the mine. It isn't going to be easy. One of the soldiers is standing right in front of the entrance. Yes, I know he has his orders, and won't leave his post, not even for a minute. It's probably better if we wait for the night. There's not much we can do now. I was thinking while you were having a look at the entrance, I know how we both could get inside. Both? Well, that's going to be even more conspicuous. Well, I have a plan. And together, we can pull it off. So, are you interested? I don't find the idea to be a great one. It can't be trusted. But it seems I have no other choice. All right, I'm listening. No matter how little I trust Stashik, his plan just might work out. Besides, I don't have a plan of my own. We've agreed on outsmarting the guard by the entrance to the mine. It didn't seem at all hopeless, and night was closing in quickly. One thing I couldn't get off my mind, though. What possible reason could he have for helping me get into the mine? I didn't get up until after midnight and slipped into the darkness of the forest. The light in the trailer was on exactly like we had arranged. The silence of the night was interrupted only by the sounds of night creatures.
Are you here? There's nobody here. I'm sure we agreed to meet at this hour. Hmm. Maybe I'll run into him somewhere around the camp. It appears somebody was lying in it just a moment ago, but not a trace of Stashik. Old food crumbs. I'm not going to stain my clothes. A glass and a few bottles full of oil and vinegar. Everything expired at least a year ago. Use before July 10th, 2003. They're somewhat expired. A good can will never go bad, though. Empty bottles, cards, and an ashtray. Nothing I need. It's out, but there's wood in it. An old raincoat. There's something in the pocket. They're expired, but still edible. A tool for opening bottles and cans. D282. Hmm. What could he need the number for? They're edible, but I have no use for them. Out for a little nighttime walk, huh? Well, more or less. I can't sleep. Oh, I'd go to bed right away. This is my second night guard duty in a row. I can barely keep my eyes open. I wish the explosive people had already arrived. Tomorrow, right? I hope they won't be too late. I'm exhausted. Why don't you sit down? Nobody's gonna check up on you here. But they will. The Major's a light sleeper. He's sure to come out just as soon as I sit down. Oh, I don't think somebody could possibly mind your sitting down for a while. Were you ever in the military? Yes, I did. So, you know what an order is. And the order here is to be on guard the whole night. Not a word about sitting down. I have nothing to talk about with him. The guard is looking at me. I can't just walk inside. I can't go any farther. He'd see me. There's too much light by the entrance. I can't get any closer. Listen, the camp is illuminated as though it were daytime, which doesn't exactly help to get to sleep. How about switching some of the lights off? Impossible. The Major wouldn't like it. Well, I don't think we're going to be attacked. At any rate, they can't be switched off. They're connected directly to the generator in the cabin. Try to put out a single row and half the forest is as dark as a dungeon. Ah, uh, too bad, because the light is shining right into my trailer. Well, then close your shutters. The lights have to stay on. 
That old cabin behind the trailers is locked. Do you happen to know how I could get inside? What for? Bit nosy, aren't you? What do you want in there? I'd like to have a look at those lights. The lights gotta stay on. Major's orders. During the night, the cabin's locked. Only the Major has the key. So beat it. No problem. I was just asking. I have nothing to talk about with him. Locked. Listen, I see you're not going to be going to bed all night. Could you do me a favor? Maybe. Depends on what you need. Well, I can barely keep standing. I'm starting to get real hungry. Sure could use something to eat. But I don't have anything myself and don't know of any restaurants around. Anything's fine. I'll eat anything. So, can you get a hold of something? I'll try. I have nothing to talk about with him. It doesn't smell too nice. They'll come in handy now. I put in the can some mushrooms from the forest. I have nothing to talk about with him. More firewood is stacked right beside the stove. I need to wait a little. That should be enough. It looks edible now. Here, I got you something, but it isn't much. Ah, beans with mushrooms? Couldn't get anything better. Oh, hey, never mind. As long as it's warm, it's perfect. Thanks. No problem. I can't go any farther. He'd see me. There's too much light by the entrance. I can't get any closer.
Hey, you! Come over here! What kind of filth did you put in that can? What were those mushrooms? Huh. Well, the mushrooms were edible. I'd suspect the beans. They might have expired. That doesn't matter now. I've got to... Well, you know what. Watch the spot for me. I'll be back in a minute. I'll slip inside quietly. The Major's uniform. Oh, there's something in the right pocket. Various documents and letters. I'd better leave them alone. This one is free. The Major is sleeping at the back of the tent. To wake up the Major is the last thing I need. I won't go farther inside. The keys from Major's uniform. The batteries are charged. The radio is fully operational. fits great it won't open it powers all the lights as well as everything else in the camp It's heavy, probably full of tools. I can't see anything useful. It's all rusty. There is a lock on the door. It holds together firmly. A strong rope might come in handy. Let's see what's inside. A small hand oiler. A strong thread on a wooden spool. It's like new. The batteries are old, but hopefully they'll still last for a bit. A massive wrench. Carrying it around is not exactly comfortable. What is that sound? It's locked. I can't get inside.
Somebody has hidden a corpse in here. Something damn weird is going on around here. Who could have killed him? Hopefully I'll have what I came for and be out of here soon. I don't know who he is. I'll have a look in his pocket. I'll have a look at the ID. The name is... Peter Stashik. I knew he couldn't be trusted. At least I know the murderer. Wrong switch. Must be the other one. I'd better switch it on. That's it. The lights outside are out. I have to take advantage of the situation. Immediately. Somebody's coming. I'll hide under the trailer. The lights are back on. I have to go inside. Quick! That was close. Nobody will be looking for me here. I must return to the camp before dawn. <laughs> 